<laughs> I love this shuffling right now. Girls going back. I love that. That's one of my key moves when I'm dancing. You've got to put in the shuffle. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome to the Ultimate World Music Reaction Channel, all about music and psychology. Today I want to dive into a big mainstream artist. I'm almost hesitant to fe feature these artists on this channel because we're all about world music. We go all around the globe and very often we listen to artists that are not familiar to the mainstream world, the Western world or mainstream radio, or we listen to artists that are blowing up on YouTube and such, but may not be mainstream music. And so when it comes to mainstream artists, I'm almost hesitant sometimes to dive in because uh, my experience in the beginning of this channel was when I looked at some of these mainstream videos, I didn't always like it. Or if I liked it, I would I, there were still elements that I didn't like or d disagree with. One of the things is the over-sexualization in the music industry or how there's often foul content and not wholesome messages. And I just find that, you know, very sad, especially when you learn about all these other artists around the world who have something very good to say, who are dealing with heavy topics and are doing it in such a skilled way. That being said, I'm still going to check this out because this is my homegirl. I have been listening to Pink since I was, I don't even know how old, first albums, honestly. I have albums of hers where it was still way more pop, poppy. Um, actually, no, one of my first albums was, which one was it? I don't even remember, but we're talking one of the first albums. I know some of her stuff when she was still more into the poppy vibe. And then my favorites were The Rock, where she started diving into her rock sound and really finding her sound. Some of the ones that come to my mind uh, are some of the classics. You're just like a pill. Instead of making me better, you keep making me ill. Anyways, I like Pink stuff, um, or at least I did in the early days. To be honest, I haven't been listening to her stuff much anymore. One of the songs, I heard a snippet of her and um, Kelly Clarkson singing it on a, a talk show or some type of event. It was just a snippet of it, but they were singing, they were doing what all I know so far that song I love now I haven't even really watched that full video I probably should but a pink is just a fiery firecracker <laughs> and I want to check out her song trust fall that just came out three weeks ago over 7.9 million views obviously pink's huge has a ton of a ton of subscribers um but yeah without further ado let me check it out I hope it's it's gonna be good I hope I'm not gonna have to critique much please know this is about real talk real reactions so if there's things that I critique that's because it's my subjective opinion, but I want to be real up in here. I'm not going to get up my chair and holler if I don't like it. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Um, which is why I'm sometimes hesitant with these pop artists because I know it'll bring people, and you're all welcome, but it'll bring people that are maybe rea want, wanting reactions to them as some of the mainstream artists. My style's just different. So here we go. The uh, Cuban German World Music Channel checking out American mainstream artists. <laughs> uh, let's check it out. Pink Trustful official video. Oh, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. You know the drill. Here we go. Are you gonna fall? <laughs> Is someone supposed to catch you? Yes. Or do you catch yourself? <laughs> there will be something worth falling for. Okay, uh, so there's probably details or maybe details here that I won't necessarily know the connection for. Things like that illusion billboard and just the vibe here. 
musically already very different than the pink that I used to know. Obviously, she started with pop, then went into rock, and I feel like that's my favorite genre for her because of her rasp and that uh, strong powerhouse voice that she has. Um, here, we're obviously talking way more EDM, way more techno, and the beat's cool. It's not something that I would be listening to on repeat on my own time. I'd rather listen to her old school rock stuff or things like what I know so far. Even though more of her recent work, work <laughs> has been more poppy, I think. But, but her voice is still just legendary. That rasp, the strength, and the lyrics we'll talk about later. But uh, the cinematography of the music video is already pretty cool. That girl on the motorcycle and her then flying up like Matrix style. Pretty dope. Is this a Stranger Things vibe up in here? That female on the front left got that mohawk and the bangs going. The red light and them dancing gives me a very 80s Stranger Things vibe, which is smart on her part if that's what she's trying to go for because that's big right now and relatable. That's one thing. Then the girl going with those different scenes from her being at the party all alone kind of looks lost, doesn't belong. Now in this house looking around, flashing back to the party. The light and the helmet was dope. And then singing about not what not being in the light or not walking in the light or something like that that was kind of a neat play there when it comes to lyrics and video videography cinematography what is this song reminding me of there's something about the chord progression here da 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 la da da la 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 La, da, 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 da. I can't hit the high note so good right now. Um, I can't place it. Y'all let me know in the comments below. What does that remind me of? There's something here that sounds similar. That's not a bad thing, you know? It, there's only so many chords and chord progressions. Um, but it's neat. It has that underlying 80s beat for sure here. And then add that techno. Pretty cool. <laughs> I love this shuffling right now. Girls going back. I love that. That's one of my key moves when I'm dancing. You've got to put in the shuffle. <laughs> That's that same guy at the beginning of the party, I think, that was looking at her. What are they like about to eat each other's face? All right. You're shit scared and your whole body shaking. Go in there and you just fucking do it. You just do it, whatever it is. And then boom. It's gone. Fear is gone.
Okay. So, like I said, 80s Stranger Things vibe. At some point, I was even thinking Michael Jackson, the way they were walking up around the street. Her with her leather jacket and that red vibe. Though I will say they were not, you know, really doing any thriller moves here. It was way more upbeat and lively and fun. But it had those elements. It really had those 80s elements to me. The techno, the underlying track of this song. Um, her voice is really awesome. She really has this powerhouse voice, that rasp. I really love her, her rock songs and the, the throwback stuff. Even though she has uh, even more recent songs that have great messages or are really relatable. Or just have a great catch and a great hook making it super radio worthy, which is probably one of the reasons she's such a mainstream artist. Here, without going into too much detail, I think we get the idea. Obviously, the idea of a trust fall is when you fall back, trusting someone's going to catch you. And so I see these elements of that girl, you know, mustering up the courage to talk to this guy that she likes. Um, then we see her pink holding someone, talking about fear, and that when you jump, fear suddenly gone. Boom. So this idea maybe of bracing your fears, the thing that you're trying to tackle. And I, I could see that message being relatable to a lot of people when it comes to jumping and having faith, doing that trust fall when it comes to career changes, when it comes to relationships. And I think that message can be encouraging for many. I could see even a lot of the young generation, you know, Gen Z and so on, um, finding encouragement in that if they're trying to figure out who they are they're struggling for identity they're afraid you know we live in a world where social media can be a blessing and a curse and you have a lot of awesome opportunities online to grow your business to reach many people at one time but the downside also is that I think it can brood a lot of fear right if you were to look at the news all the time it would look like we're all doomed but when you just turn off the tv and social media and you get off your phone and you walk around I think many of us can realize we have a lot of common ground and life just keeps going right it's not as doom and gloom and so I think social media as interesting as it can be psychologically speaking can also breed a lot of fear insecurities comparison especially if you're trying to grow your platform there's this fix of you know making the numbers grow trying to stay relevant right you've got to come up with the latest trend or you're seeing all these things you're supposed to have what you're supposed to look like there's a lot of fear that can be breeded through social media and such so i think the message of trust fall being yourself walking into the light taking that leap it can be encouraging. Because we like to go deep into psychology, I think it's important to note, however, that when it comes to trust fall, I think there is still a necessity for wisdom. What I mean by that is, if the message for everybody at all times is just, just jump, whatever it is, just jump, take a leap of faith, do it. That's not always sound counsel. There are people out there who are limited by fear, who uh, are afraid, maybe not even of failure, but of success, of being all they need to be. And so they need to have that message go do it. But of course, I think it also depends on who you're talking to because there's also sometimes that trend that I'm perceiving also through social media where there, we may also be experiencing the other side of the extreme of people just jumping into all kinds of things when it comes to trends, when it comes to what is hype, what you're supposed to look like, what you're supposed to do. I think especially for younger people that may be quick to look up to certain people that have a big platform and they want to be like them and they want to look like them. And now they copy trends and they jump on these trains, if you will, taking that leap. Now for them, it might not be fear that's holding them back. They might not need the message, hey, take that leap, trust fall. They might need, hey, slow down, <laughs> think before you act and ask yourself, why are you doing this, right? What is your identity based on? Are you doing this because it's truly coming from the inside out or is this just an external fix looking for meaning dealing with your existential fears trying to be somebody in this world and so you're just jumping saying yes to everything that type of mindset that extreme of the pendulum that would not necessarily need the encouragement of hey take a leap they might need listen you need wisdom you need discernment and in a world where there seems to be a lack of self-control sometimes they and by they i mean people that struggle with that need the message of Calmate, you know, breathe. Let's work on some of, the, of these deeper things underneath all that. But of course, those who are bound by fear, and I think many, many, many people are, the message of trustful can be incredibly encouraging. And like I said, taking it back a bit with the beat, with the techno, with the 80s vibe was a really cool way. Uh, and I think her voice, I mean, her voice matches almost everything, I feel, if not everything. She just has a really unique, raspy, strong voice that it works well with the rock, with the pop, with the techno. I think the message is relatable. And I may pull out more as I listen to it again. We'll see. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. As always, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you on the next ride. Ayo! Thank you.